we can say we've got a giant herbivore called a titanosaur. Welcome to the land of sand dunes, aromatic spices, and driving cars on two wheels. This controversial country has a lot of crazy stuff going on. And we're here to show you there's more to Saudi Arabia's wildlife than its massive reserves of dinosaur juice that we all need so badly. From mysterious ancient animal cults to bizarre lizards, this place is like a real life Jurassic Park. So let's check out the 20 strangest creatures recently discovered in Saudi Arabia. <sighs> Number 20, Animal Bones. Ancient human remains have been unearthed in Saudi Arabia, alongside scattered animal bones, all inside a 7,000-year-old desert monument. The structure, known as a mustatil, was used as a ritual site by a prehistoric cult. The recent excavations shed light on these structures and the beliefs of these long-lost worshippers. The mustatils were constructed during a time when the Arabian desert was a grassland teeming with elephants and hippos. As the climate gradually shifted, transforming the land into a desert, cult members likely gathered at the Mustatils to protect their territory by offering sacrifices to unknown gods. Melissa Kennedy, an archaeologist at the University of Western Australia, highlighted the scarcity of information about how the Mustatils and their beliefs surround them. Only 10 Mustatils have been excavated so far making this study one of the first to be published and leaving much to be discovered about this ancient tradition. Mustatils come in various shapes, but they typically consist of low rock walls around four feet in height, forming long rectangles. Excavations have revealed intricate structures within some ruins, such as interior walls and pillars leading to central chambers, possibly reserved for feasting and ritual sacrifice. Worshippers would enter the Mustatils from one end and walk distances ranging from 66 to 1,970 feet or more to reach the opposite end, where they'd find a rubble platform known as the head. Inside the head, there was a chamber housing a betel, a sacred stone, sometimes believed to be a meteorite, used by cult members to commune with their gods. As archaeologists continue to explore these ancient monuments, we hope to uncover more secrets of this mysterious prehistoric cult and gain a deeper understanding of their beliefs and practices. Time for the rare topic. A quiet village in Saudi Arabia was thrown into chaos when a creature like no other fell from the sky. And it's a giant fish with legs. Even stranger, the fishy fellow appears to be sporting a stylish white dress. Saudi Arabia just shocked American scientists with this. Local authorities wasted no time and promptly called in the national police. Can you imagine the bewildered faces of the officers as they tried to figure out what on earth they were dealing with? They knew they had something truly extraordinary on their hands. Ultimately, the decision was made to send this odd specimen all the way to the US for further examination. Scientists were left scratching their heads, trying to unlock the mysteries of this creature. What is it? How did it end up in Saudi Arabia? And most importantly, why was it wearing a dress? Comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know what you think about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19, Sea Lizard Fossil. In a recent excavation on the western Saudi coast, a company unearthed fossils of an enormous marine lizard that lived over 80 million years ago. The CEO of the Red Sea Development Company, John Pagano, noted that this discovery signifies the existence of life in the region millions of years ago. Pagano pointed out Saudi Arabia's growing fascination with fossilized animals and plants, and he believes these latest findings will serve as an additional motivation to continue the research for ancient relics buried along the coast. The exact size of the marine lizard was not specified in the report, but given its status as a huge creature, we can only imagine the scale of this prehistoric beast. It's crazy to think about the giant critters that once swam the seas in that area. As researchers and scientists continue their explorations, who knows what other remarkable secrets the depths of the Saudi Arabian coast might hold. And while we're here, how about hitting that like and smashing the subscribe button? Otherwise, an 80 million year old sea lizard will come bursting out of your toilet. Number 18, Hegra. The ancient city of Hegra, 
Located in northern Saudi Arabia stands as an archaeological marvel steeped in history. This site, also known as the Mada in Sali, once belonged to the Nabataean civilization that thrived thousands of years ago. Hegra holds approximately 100 tombs intricately carved into sandstone cliffs, which are the final resting places for the Nabataean elite. Of particular fascination are the rock-cut facades adorning the tombs. These facades show the advanced state of the Nabataean civilization. Recognized for its outstanding universal value, Hegra has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This prestigious status acknowledges its significance in the cultural heritage of Saudi Arabia and the ancient Nabataean civilization. Number 17. Fingerbone This surprising discovery took place at the Al-Wusta ancient lake back in 2016. What did they find? None other than a human fingerbone. Oh, but not just any old finger bone. This one could rewrite our entire history. A recent study published in the journal Nature Ecology and Evolution has shed light on the age of this find. That finger bone is an amazing 88,000 years old. I find it pretty fascinating to think about the person to whom that finger once belonged. What were they like? What stories could they tell if only their bony fingers could speak? This discovery at al Wusta provides insights into the ancient human presence in the Arabian Peninsula, adding another layer to our understanding of human history. Isn't it amazing how one small bone can unlock a world of knowledge? Number 16. Rock Art Situated in the vast desert landscape of Saudi Arabia's Hale region, we find a treasure. The rock art sites of Jabal Um Sinma at Jabba and Jabal al-Manjor and Rat at Shuwaymis. Phew, try saying that three times fast. I struggled one time, slow. Anyway, once upon a time, there was a lake nestled at the base of the Um Sinman hill range. This lake, now vanished, used to quench the thirst of both people and animals in the southern part of the great Narfud desert. The ancestors of the Arab populations we know today have left their marks on the rock face. These marks take the form of petroglyphs and inscriptions telling their stories etched in stone. It's like an ancient art gallery carved into rocks. Moving on to Jabal al-Manjur and Rat, we find a rocky escarpment, now partially buried in sand. This wadi, or valley, holds a wide range of human and animal representations. This art spans an incredible 10,000 years of history, giving us a glimpse of this desert people's mysterious past. Number 15 meat-eating dinosaurs. The Saudi Red Sea coast, once a beach, harbors a secret. It was home to meat-eating dinosaurs. Extinct marine reptiles and dinosaurs left their mark in the form of bones and teeth scattered across what's now a dry desert. A team of scientists from the Saudi Geological Survey, with support from Uppsala University, Museum Victoria, and Monash University, uncovered Saudi Arabia's first record of dinosaurs. Their excavation along the northwestern Red Sea coast led to the discovery of teeth and bones, dating back approximately 72 million years. The findings shed light on the ancient biodiversity that once flourished in the region. This was an era when the Saudi Red Sea coast was bustling with life. These fossils belong to various species, including carnivorous theropods and plant-eating sauropods. Some of the sauropod species discovered on the Saudi Red Sea coast include the Diplodocus and Brachiosaurus. We can say we've got a giant herbivore called a titanosaur. With their immense size and long tails, sauropods grazed on vegetation and had distinctively long necks for reaching high foliage. Plus, fossil evidence indicates the presence of a few theropod species, including the fearsome Tyrannosaurus rex. Number 14. Mysterious Stone Structures Hovering above the Saudi desert in a helicopter, archaeologist David Kennedy's excitement reached its peak as he caught sight of his long-awaited discovery. Ancient stone structures perched atop desolate mountains. For years, Kennedy had relied on Google Earth to explore the vast plains of Saudi Arabia's desert. However, it was only recently that he had the opportunity to witness these intriguing structures in person during a visit to the kingdom. According to Kennedy, seeing the structures from 500 feet in the air was far more captivating than viewing them on Google Earth. I believe it. 
Prior to the visit, online satellite images had revealed the presence of approximately 400 stone gates scattered across the lava fields of Harit K. Bar and Harit Uyurit. These gates were believed to have been utilized for trapping animals. Additionally, scattered graves were also observed within the area. The significance and purpose of these ancient stone structures continue to puzzle researchers. The age of these stone structures is uncertain, but they are believed to date back thousands of years, possibly to prehistoric times. The purpose of these structures is still unclear, as they do not resemble traditional homes or burial sites. Some theories suggest they might have served as markers for ancient trade routes, astronomical observatories, or ritualistic or ceremonial sites. Number 13. Shark Teeth Trail In the heart of the Kurais Desert, nestled halfway between Hufof and Ridia, lies a fascinating geological treasure trove. Here, beds of solid sedimentary rock from the Eocene epoch and earlier eras gracefully slope towards the east. Thanks to the lack of vegetation and the relentless forces of wind erosion, these beds lay bare, offering a window into the secrets of millions of years into the past. As part of the survey's program on the Corias area, the desert wonderland has earned the nickname Shark Teeth Trail. Why? Well, it's because the surface of this land is adorned with an abundance of shark teeth, shells, and even bones of sea creatures. These fossils provide evidence that the Corias area known scientifically as the Daman Formation, was once submerged underwater for an extended period. It's a way of diving into a prehistoric ocean and witnessing the remains of its strange and ancient inhabitants. The fossilized teeth found in the Karayas Desert belong to various species of sharks that roamed the ancient seas. They represent a rich diversity of shark species, ranging in size, shape, and tooth structure. The trail also attracts tourists and nature enthusiasts who can learn about these ancient relics firsthand. Number 12. Al Nasla Rock The Al Nasla Rock in Saudi Arabia is well known thanks to its peculiar appearance. This massive rock formation appears to be sliced neatly in half, reminiscent of a cut made by a laser beam. The unusual nature of this rock has led some to speculate about the possibility of alien involvement in its creation. While one geologist proposes that the split in the rock may have resulted from freeze-thaw weathering, others argue that the precision and smoothness of the division are highly unusual for natural causes alone. This geological formation is made of sandstone, and it's believed to be millions of years old. Its precise split and balanced positioning make it an intriguing subject of study and photography. The location is also believed to have archaeological significance. with ancient petroglyphs and inscriptions found in the surrounding area. Number 11. Human Footprints In a groundbreaking discovery, an international team of archaeologists and paleoanthropologists uncovered something very interesting. They found ancient human and animal footprints on the surface of an ancient lake bed in the Nafud Desert. These footprints, estimated to be around 120,000 years old, provide evidence of an early Homo sapiens migration out of Africa and mark the earliest presence of our species in the Arabian Peninsula. The footprints found in the Nafud Desert give us more information on the ancient movements of our human ancestors during a significant period in history. The Nafud Desert, also known as Al Nafud, is a vast desert located in the northern part of Saudi Arabia. Spanning an area of approximately 30,000 square miles, it's one of the world's largest sand deserts. The name Nafud translates to empty quarter, reflecting the vast stretches of uninhabited, barren landscape. The Nafud Desert is characterized by its iconic red sand dunes, which can reach heights of up to 650 feet. These towering dunes are formed by the action of winds over thousands of years, constantly shifting and reshaping the landscape. The sand dunes create a landscape of rolling hills and valleys, offering a unique site for visitors. Number 10. Empty Quarter Desert In another fascinating natural occurrence, frozen water and pebbles flow through Saudi Arabia's expansive Rub al Khali, also known as the Empty Quarter. Videos capturing this extraordinary site went viral. 
showing excited Saudis reaching down to pick up ice balls from the fast flowing system. The stream stretched for miles through the vast and mostly unexplored desert, which spans an area of 250,000 square miles. This bizarre phenomenon is both extremely rare and eerie in nature. While the exact cause of this peculiar event has not been confirmed, it has captivated the attention of conspiracy theorists who speculate that it may be a sign of the end of the world. The Rub al Khali Desert is known for its extreme temperatures and arid conditions, making the presence of flowing frozen water and pebbles a truly unusual sight. Although the scientific explanation for this phenomenon may lie in its unique weather patterns and geological factors, the mystery surrounding the event continues. Nature always has a way of surprising us. Number 9. Huge Fish-Shaped Rock Amidst the scorching heat of the Saudi desert, something caught the eye of photographer Khalid al Anazi. It seemed like a mirage at first, but he had the evidence to prove it wasn't. Through his drone lens, he captured these images of a massive rock formation shaped like a fish emerging from the sandy terrain. Khaled was documenting the archaeological wonders of Saudi Arabia's Al Ula County, an area renowned for its ancient structures that rival the grandeur of Jordan's Petra city. The drone images show the uniqueness of this fish-shaped rock. Beyond its visual appeal, the fish rock holds cultural and historical significance. It's believed to have been a landmark and a reference point for travelers in ancient times. The rock's unique shape and prominence would have guided caravans and nomads navigating through the vast desert landscapes. Al Ula itself has a rich heritage, with archaeological sites dating back thousands of years. The area is home to ancient ruins, rock art, and historical structures, including the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Madain Sala. Number 8. Mystery of Madina Magnetic Hill Mystery Hill in Madina, Saudi Arabia is a location that has truly confused visitors with its peculiar phenomenon. This spot is famous for defying the laws of gravity, where water appears to flow uphill. Even cars placed in neutral can seemingly move uphill. This phenomenon isn't unique to Medina, as similar occurrences can be found in various locations worldwide. These sites go by different names like Magnet Hill, Magnet Mountain, Gravity Hill, or Mystery Hill or mystery spot. While the phenomenon may appear to challenge our understanding of gravity and physics, there are scientific explanations behind these occurrences. It's thought that the peculiarities observed at Mystery Hill are the result of an optical illusion. The surrounding landscape and the configuration of the road create an illusionary effect that makes it seem like objects are defying gravity. One theory suggests that the hill is magnetized due to the presence of underground magnetic rocks or deposits. This magnetic force is believed to create an optical illusion, making it appear as though vehicles are moving uphill when they're actually rolling downhill. Another explanation revolves around the unique topography of the hill, which creates an optical illusion due to the surrounding slopes and angles. This combination of these factors creates a visual distortion, giving the impression that vehicles are defying gravity. Despite the scientific explanations, the experience of witnessing water flowing uphill or vehicles moving against gravity is still totally fascinating. Number 7. Camel Carvings New analysis of life-size camel sculptures in Saudi Arabia has revealed that these carvings, originally believed to be 2,000 years old, actually date back a staggering 8,000 years. This discovery places them as almost twice as old as Stonehenge in England, which was constructed around 2500 BC. The camel sculptures, along with horses and other equine figures, were discovered covered in stone in the Saudi desert back in 2018. Previous estimations suggested that these intricate carvings were created around 2,000 years ago, following the end of the Iron Age. But recent analysis has unveiled their true antiquity, pushing back their origin by several millennia. The newfound age of 8,000 years shows that amazing artistic traditions flourished in Saudi Arabia during the ancient past. By re-evaluating the age of these camel sculptures, researchers are rewriting the narrative of human history in Saudi Arabia. The carvings typically show camels in different positions, including standing, walking, or being led by humans. 
The attention to detail in these rock art pieces is evidence the camels were a vital means of transportation and a source of food, milk, and companionship for these ancient societies. Number 6. Lahianite this curious statue from the Lahianite period, discovered in northwestern Saudi Arabia, was recently uncovered at the Louvre Museum in Paris. <laughs> Dating back to the 5th to 3rd centuries BCE, this rare artifact stands at an impressive height of 7.5 feet. Carved from sandstone, the statue showcases a lifelike representation of a masculine figure. The figure stands upright in static frontal pose, with its arms extended to the sides and legs positioned straight. However, the statue is missing its head. The statue is believed to depict a Lahianite king, though it is also possible that it represents a priest or a figure engaged in prayer. The Lahianite people were an ancient Arabian civilization that thrived in the northwestern region of the Arabian Peninsula from the 6th century BCE to the 1st century CE. They were an important part of the ancient trade routes that connected southern Arabia with the Levant and Mesopotamia. The Lahianites established their capital city, Dedan, modern-day Al-Ula, which served as a significant trading hub and cultural center. The city was strategically located along the incense route, which facilitated the trade of valuable commodities like incense, spices, and other goods between southern Arabia and the Mediterranean. The Lahianites were polytheistic, worshipping various gods and goddesses. Their religious practices involved rituals, sacrifices, and the veneration of sacred sites. They also had trade and cultural interactions with neighboring civilizations, like the Nabataeans and the ancient kingdom of Qadar. Number 5. Gold in Medina the Geological Survey of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia recently made a significant announcement about the discovery of new gold and copper ore sites in the Al Medina and Al Munawara region. The discoveries reveal the presence of gold ore within the borders of Aba al Ram, Umm al Barak Shied, and Hijaz in Medina. This is a crucial development in the region as it was previously believed that the Umm al barak Shiel lacked significant deposits of gold ore. The identification of these new sites opens up opportunities for further exploration and extraction of valuable resources in Saudi Arabia. Such discoveries contribute to the ongoing efforts to diversify the Saudi economy and tap into its vast mineral resources. The development and utilization of these deposits can stimulate economic growth, create employment opportunities, and enhance the country's position in the global mining sector. Otherwise, Saudi Arabia is rich in gold deposits, and the country has been actively mining and exploring for gold for many decades in areas other than Medina. In fact, gold has been mined in Saudi Arabia for thousands of years, dating back to ancient civilizations like our friends the Nabataeans and the Leonites. But these days, large-scale mining operations used advanced equipment and processes to increase productivity and reduce environmental impact. Number 4. Neolithic Temple Let's turn our sights to the once grand capital of the Kingdom of Kinda al Fa, located in the southwestern region of Riyadh. The Saudi Heritage Commission, along with an international scientific team led by Saudi experts, embarked on a project to uncover the historical treasures of this ancient site a while ago. The Kinda Kingdom, dating back to the 5th and 6th centuries, was a confederation of nomadic tribes residing in northern and central Arabia. This historical kingdom holds the distinction of being the first nomadic Arabian monarchy. The excavation in al Fa has yielded a momentous find, an 8,000-year-old Neolithic temple. This ancient temple helped us understand the religious and cultural practices of early inhabitants of the region. The temple features a unique circular design with a central courtyard surrounded by a series of stone pillars. The circular structure is believed to have had religious or ceremonial purposes. The stone pillars found at this site are thought to have supported a roof or upper structure. These pillars were carefully carved and positioned. The presence of the temple suggests that the ancient community at al Fa engaged in ritualistic practices. The exact nature of these rituals is still the subject of ongoing research and archaeological investigation. 
Number 3. Treasures of Narjan The al Dud archaeological site, located in the village of the same name in Najran, holds a significant historical treasure that dates back over 2,000 years. In addition to the fascinating drawings and engravings, the remains of a mosque have also been discovered at the site. The al Dud archaeological site dates back to the 5th and 6th century CE, which makes it over 1,500 years old. It's considered one of the oldest and most significant archaeological sites in Saudi Arabia. The site is characterized by the presence of extensive defensive walls, which are believed to have served as fortifications to protect the city against potential invaders. The walls are made of stone and mud bricks, and they stretch over an area of approximately 6 kilometers. al Dud is associated with the ancient city of Dedan, which was a major center of the Leonite civilization. It played a significant role in the region's political, economic, and religious affairs during ancient times. The site also features numerous inscriptions and petroglyphs, providing valuable insights into the language, beliefs, and customs of the ancient inhabitants. These inscriptions are written in the ancient South Arabian script. al Dud archaeological site was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2015 recognizing its outstanding universal value and cultural significance. The designation has helped in the preservation and conservation efforts of the site. The good news is, the site's open to visitors and offers a unique opportunity to explore the ancient ruins, walk along the defensive walls, and appreciate the historical significance of the site. Interpretive signs and guided tours provide further information about the site's history and archaeological discoveries. Number 2. Forgotten Kingdoms Archaeologists in Saudi Arabia are currently busy excavating the remnants of the ancient kingdoms of Dadan and Liyan in the al Ula region of northwestern Saudi Arabia. al Ula, which has become a prominent tourist destination since its opening in 2019, is renowned for the awe-inspiring tombs of Madain Saleh. This city, estimated to be over 2,000 years old, was carved into rocks by the Nabataeans, an ancient Arab civilization known for constructing the iconic city of Petra in neighboring Jordan. However, amidst the arid desert and mountains of al Ula, archaeologists are focused on uncovering the rich history of the forgotten kingdoms of Dadan and Liyan. These ancient civilizations played important roles in the region, but have long been shrouded in obscurity. The ongoing excavation efforts aim to unearth the remnants of these kingdoms, giving us information on their architectural achievements, cultural practices, and daily life. With each artifact and structure unearthed, the ancient puzzle of Dadan and Liyan begins to take shape. The Dadan kingdom had strong connections with the neighboring Nabataean kingdom. The Nabataeans influenced the culture, architecture, and trade of Dadan and both kingdoms shared similar religious and linguistic traditions. The Dadan kingdom practiced a form of Arabian polytheism, with deities such as Wad, Du Gabat, and Manat being worshipped. Temples dedicated to these deities have been identified at the archaeological site. The capital city of Dadan kingdom was also named Dadan, which served as the political and economic center of the kingdom. Dadan was strategically located along the ancient trade routes, which contributed to its prosperity. Number 1. Bronze Statue In the al fa village of Al-Dawasar Valley in Riyadh, a curious discovery was recently made. An intricately crafted bronze statue with Arab features and curly hair. This statue has attracted the attention of researchers who have drawn connections between its appearance and depictions of the Middle Ages in European films. Regarded as a rare artifact, the bronze statue is proudly being showcased in the Saudi Archaeological Masterpieces Through the Ages exhibition. This exhibition has been on a global tour for approximately five years, allowing audiences worldwide to learn about the cultural heritage of Saudi Arabia. As part of this international tour, the exhibition recently arrived at the Louvre Museum in Abu Dhabi. The National Authority for Tourism and National Heritage took the initiative to organize this exhibition, which presents a diverse collection of archaeological masterpieces. The inclusion of the bronze statue with its distinct Arab features is a fine example of the ancient artworks of Arabian people. 
can you imagine what the original artist from Alpha Village would have thought about his beautiful work being flown all over the world so many centuries after he made it? It's pretty mind-blowing how things have changed. And if you're an artist, maybe your works will one day go on a tour of the universe. Keep painting, sculpting, and drawing. You never know where it might end up. What other hidden wonders do you think lie waiting to be discovered in Saudi Arabia's diverse ecosystems? What was the most fascinating thing on our list today? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.